So what we have to do here is figure out the percent of water in calcium chloride dihydrate. Now it doesn't really matter how big or how small the sample size is because we're focused on percent. So the first thing we have to do is figure out what is the formula for calcium chloride dihydrate. Now calcium is a plus two and chlorine is a negative one ion. So we're going to crisscross those and it's CaCl2. So that's calcium chloride. And then dihydrate tells us it's a hydrate. And the prefix di tells us that there's two water molecules for every one mole of calcium chloride. So we have our salt, which is calcium chloride, and we have our water. And remember, together they make up our hydrate. So we're going to figure out the total mass of the whole thing, just like we would any other compound. We just have to remember that this little dot here does not mean multiplication. It means and. So it's calcium chloride and water. We don't multiply it. So here we go. We've got a calcium, we've got two chlorines, and we have two waters. So H2O, and then we're going to multiply that by two. So calcium, if you look on the periodic table, you'll figure out its molar mass is 40.1. If you look on the periodic table for chlorine, one of them is 35.5, except we have two of them in the formula. So that's going to be 71.0 grams. So together, 40.1 and 71.0, that makes up our salt. But we also have some water in this compound because it's a hydrate. Now, every water has 18 grams. Water's got two hydrogen. Each one's 1.0, 1 so it's 2.0. And oxygen, there's one of them, and it's 16. So water's always 2 plus 16, 18.0. So this is the mass of one mole of water. And remember, in the formula, we have two of them. So 2 times 18 is going to be 36. So, so far we have the 36 grams of water, the 71 for the chlorine, and the 40.1 of the calcium. And if we add that all together, we're going to get our grand total for this compound. If we have one mole of calcium chloride dihydrate, it has a mass of 147.1 grams. So this is our total. And we want to find out the percent of water. So we take all of our water, which in this case is two waters, two moles, which in this case is 36 grams. So 36 grams, that's our water, divided by our 147, which is our total, times 100, because we want a percent. And when you do this math out, you end up with about 24.5% water. So just about a quarter of this compound is water. If this number was higher, maybe if it was 8, 8 H2Os, this number would be higher. If this number was only a 1, it would be lower. But in this case, it's two, two moles of water for every one mole of this. And when you do out the percent, it always, always, always comes out to 24.5%.